Hello everyone, from New Zealand, the provinces of Canada, all the way to the Philippines, and all around the world, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and welcome back to another Spooky Saturday. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Story 19. Need a Hand? In a world as painful and unforgiving as this time on Earth, there is yet a line. A silver line, where beyond that veil of mysticism, a great mystery awaits to be answered. Whether we truly go to a place beyond the bounds of this reality. Now as a paranormal narrator, I too have had my own experiences with ghosts, but Sandra's first ever encounter turned her into a believer. Let's find out together what happened on that fateful night. Hello, paranormal poet. As most of your audience knows who I am at this point, I am Sandra. This experience will forever terrify me. Years ago, when I was still in high school, we visited my grandma's house and decided to spend the night there. This idea started dawning on me that maybe it wasn't such a smart choice because something about her house made it give off this dark energy. This distinct, heavy feeling in your chest when you walk into a place. It made me feel almost physically sick. That night, around 2 to 3 a.m., I partially opened my eyes, realizing I couldn't sleep for some odd reason. I usually have no trouble sleeping, except this one night. It was really odd. Directly in front of me, there was a walk-in closet, the door leading out of the room, and the nightstand. I got the feeling something was staring at me in the darkness of the closet. I just had a feeling, so I reach for the lamp on the nightstand, turn it on, and see nothing there. Relieved, I only looked down at my bed for one second before I looked back up where the lamp was. And in front of my eyes, I saw a full-blown hand grasping on the corner of the nightstand. I was completely frozen in fear, seeing it move in front of me, the way the fingers grabbed the table slowly. I had enough. I ran out of the bedroom and slept on the couch for that night. Now, I wasn't one to believe in ghosts, and I hadn't told this story to anyone except you. I was very much a skeptic, but some things you just can't explain, so what else could it be? If you enjoyed this video and you are new here, definitely please hit that subscribe button as we do this every Saturday. I truly appreciate you all for being here. See you next Saturday.